Hello and welcome to this video. The goal of this video is to show uh, how to install and use the VRAP PR interface as well as to show uh, what features it has. So if you doubt about whether it's useful to uh, install it or not, uh, by doing this video you can see uh, whether it offers what you want or not. So people that know about VR know or exper have experienced VR know that it's not the same as seeing something on the screen. So uh, especially in uh, robotic simulators like VWeb, it offers an extra dimension of information that is very useful, which is exactly why I uh, made this interface, ac interface actually. So uh, this system doesn't have VWeb installed at this moment, so uh, to show you um, how to use it, I will uh, start by a clean install. It doesn't have to be a clean install, but yeah. Okay, so this installer is, um, let's uh, do the first step first before uh, going to the devices. So the default location is always easiest. So, um, what devices does it support? So, uh, this interface will work with uh, OpenVR compatible devices. Um, most devices are actually OpenVR compatible, but I've tested it with the HTC 5 and HTC 5 Pro. I've also heard from the forum that Windows Mixed Reality works, at least the visualization, but maybe it's useful to compile a list of things that work. Uh, so if you have device that not on the list, uh, you can report it to me and then I will put it on the list. So there are two components to take into account. One is does the visualization work? And two, uh, do the controls get sent back to VRAP? So that are two things uh, to evaluate whether they work or not. So uh, VRAP is nearly installed here. So if we go to the GitHub uh, repository where uh, the source code is located and you can uh, see into the code if you want, uh, here is some information about the interface and installation instructions and uh, how to use the interface. Uh, binaries are located under release in GitHub. So uh, I've included a Microsoft installer uh, file. So that's uh, useful. So you can download this. Uh, VRIP is now installed. Uh, I've downloaded this earlier, but you can run uh, the installer. Uh, Microsoft will give a warning about this and a smart screen will um, protect my PC against it. Yeah, actually it doesn't protect anything, but it's just uh, Microsoft that doesn't know about my installer. Uh, but you can get around this. Uh, Microsoft will um, record how many people install this uh, with this installer. And if enough people do it, then it will be recognized as an official installer. And then the smart screen thing will disappear. But for now, we're stuck with this. So if we now uh, run this installer, you can change the folder here, install. This is uh, step one of the installation and it's that easy. So this works right now. If we now go to the location where it's installed, you, this is uh, what's being installed. So these are the binaries which are pre-compiled. And step two of the installation is running the bat file. Uh, but you also need to specify the location where uh, VWAP is installed. If it's uh, this location for you, then you don't need to change anything. If it's another location, then you have to change this. Uh, be very precise how to do this. So for example, no spaces here no brackets or whatever exactly like this uh, but yeah then maybe another folder what this bat file will do is copy these three folders inside uh, 
the VRAP installation directory. Uh, here are models. Here are the example scenes. And these are the most important scripts which are loaded inside, uh, will be loaded inside the models. Uh, these need to be inside the VRAP folder where they are copied to. So this is uh, the most important uh, step. So if we run the bat uh, file as administrator, which is uh, required because you copy inside your uh, program folder, so you need to be uh, administrator to do that. And that's it, it's installed. So uh, if you're only interested in the installation, you can uh, skip the rest of the video. If you want to see the features and how to use it, uh, that comes next. So now we can open VRAP. Okay, so VRAP is opened right now. And we will start by opening the first example scene. So you see here the VR interface folder. This is copied here by the bat file. And I suggest to start with the Hello VR World scene. This is just a regular VR, uh, just a regular VRAP scene without anything added except to, uh, this model. So if we now want to see this in VR, um, yeah. To show you what you can see in the VR device, I will now uh, open the mirror. This is useful for if you give demos, demos or whatever. Uh, so now you need to run the interface. Interface, you can do this by uh, running this program. This is a shortcut installed uh, by the installer, so you can run this. And this is now ready to use. So now you just have to run this scene. And you will see that if you put uh, this device on your head, you're inside the VR scene and see whatever happens there. So this uh, is the most uh, simple usage and this is everything you need to do to make it work. Uh, second thing, visualization is one part. The other part is having signals of the device uh, back in VRAP. So if you see in this signal monitor, that monitors all signals uh, in VRAP. If I press this button, you see that it's uh, information gets to VRAP and can be used in scripts to control the behavior of uh, the VRAP scene. This is a very powerful feature. To stop this, uh, the interface, you just have to stop um, this scene from running and then uh, the interface will stop. The program uh, will keep on running and waits for the next simulation to start. So you don't have to uh, think about that anymore. So this uh, scene is just a basic scene with this model added. To prove this to you, I will open another scene that is just, yeah, I don't know. That's, I'm not good at picking random things. So let this be the random thing we pick. Uh, so the usage, as I said, is just tracking the VR interface and then it works. So by Running this now, yeah, this is probably not a good scene because VRAP is blocked. Ah, yeah, but it's it's working. So you can see the only thing needed was uh, the VR interface included in any VRAP scene, and then it will work. Then you can walk around in the scene. Okay, so now um, the next logical thing to do is the hello controls scene. I will not go through this scene with you because uh, this mainly uh, details how to use uh, controls. 
uh, but these are like the VTK controls. So for example, uh, with the VTK controls you can zoom in or zoom out, so make the scene small or translate without having to physically move. You can block these controls by uh, putting this value to true and then uh, it won't matter what you if you do the actions that are uh, explained here then they won't have an effect but if you want to use those controls then you have to set this to false and then you can use them and it states details here how to use them an important thing to note however is that yeah just wait now the scene is copying data to the interface so yeah here you see my two controllers, these two. Uh, you see the controller with the text right here. Uh, for me, uh, this is the left controller. And this without the text is the right controller. Uh, so uh, the signals uh, that are sent by the left controller and the right controller are different. So you have to keep them apart. For me, uh, the left controller is the one without the frame rate counter. So that's uh, useful to know for later. Okay, so yeah, you can probably go through this uh, alone. For me, it's not useful to do this right now. It won't be clear anyway. So if you now do the hello signals example, which is a logical next step uh, here, not only the, the interface is not only used as a visualization, but also the uh, signals are used in an example script. Uh, this video uh, is also on YouTube where I do this scene. So uh, the logic is inside VREP. So, uh, so yeah, in this um, script, actually, I noticed that it was not clear uh, recently, but yeah, it's too late now. It's but it's uh, inside the installer like this. So uh, you see that uh, the in integer signal with this name is used in to manipulate the scene. So the right grip of the right controller is used, and the trigger also. So you can go through this scene and see what exactly that it does but I will show you here what it looks like so wait yeah that's me because I'm not free at this moment I'm tethered to the PC with my cable so I'm not that so I'm gonna use the VTK controls to move which is not necessary for you but for me it is so if we now run the inter play the scene, I will look through this device, otherwise it will be nearly impossible for me to demonstrate this. Okay, so uh, this demo is with the right controller. So if I now press the blue button, then I can control the robot so it will follow my controller and when I press the white button the gripper closes so with these two controls I can play around and build stuff with the robot or do whatever you want if you press the blue button again yeah the, there's a kind of a perk in this I know where it is and in the next release it will be fixed but yeah you can release the robot again and and now I can reattach and lose it again so that's this scene so you can play around with this now I can stop this scene and go to the last scene which uh, actually contains uh, yeah, the Hello Camera coverage example. Q. 
Okay. Um, let me sort of clear up something uh, went wrong here. Uh, I will restart because the scene was not loaded correctly. I don't know why that happened, but okay. Open it again. Hello camera covered. So you see now it's loaded normally again. I don't know what that's about. If we run the interface again and just run this scene. And now I have to show you guys what's happening. So we're again, this is the robotics lab at the University of Antwerp. If you were interested in that. So what you see here is that this is a virtual camera and if I press the trigger button, the white button, I can move it freely and you see kind of a red cloud. This cloud is what's not visible in the scene by this camera. So by moving it, it's dynamically updated. So this can be used to decide a good position for a camera system for, for example, safety applications. So if uh, you need a camera system that sees every part of the robot cage, then you can see right now at this position, this camera doesn't see all the red parts. So if you move to here, you see that the robot blocks uh, a bit of the view of the camera. So this is cool to play around. Uh, if you have any real-world applications for it, uh, you can always contact me because this is part of my uh, research doing this. So it's also always useful to know. Uh, the paper where I detailed in this is also available here if you want to know more about this kind of stuff. So I think this is about it. Uh, if you have issues with um, the interface, you can always uh, report issues at uh, GitHub. Right now there are none. So I wish you the best of luck in installing this if you're interested. So bye.